Welcome back, Canada. You're watching Breakfast Television this morning. A messy, cluttered house can be stressful and chaotic. The same goes for your personal finances as well. Lucky for us, we are joined by Senior Financial Advisor and Senior Portfolio Manager Shiraz Ahmed with Spring Cleaning Tips for our financial house. Shiraz, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Great to see you. Thanks for doing this. It's a challenging time. Um, we have a lot of places we can go. How do PPA, peep, uh, people alleviate, in English, some of the stressors at this time of year? So look, we just got past tax season, and I think that's a big stressor for a lot of folks is just getting through that component of your of your life. But now that we're getting past that, it's kind of taking a step back and looking holistically at where am I today, where do I want to be in the future, and what steps do I need to take to get there? So a good place to start, frankly, is actually by do you even have a budget? And in this high inflationary period that we're in right now, for example, uh, that's one of the most important things I can tell people to do is if you don't already have one, it's a good time to start tracking where is my money going. All right. And you talk about tax season and the fact that it's a big stressor. You can alleviate that stress if you actually start organizing now. Don't wait till last minute. Absolutely. I mean, especially if you ask my CPA, he'll tell you that you should organize in advance mm -hmm. as well. And even some basic tips, like for number one, don't throw all your stuff in a shoebox. That's probably the best tip I could tell people to do. But, uh, you know, keeping an accordion folder, for example, and just labeling it by month and making sure that you track your receipts uh, month by month. And that way, it when it comes tax time next April, it'll just be that much easier for you. How do we stay organized when it comes to investments? So that's a great and super loaded question. So I would say that number one thing you want to do is if you don't already have a plan, get one. Uh, so starting with a financial plan, and that's typically the driving document for most folks. Uh, and it allows you to then think about what does my asset allocation look like? Am I in line with where I need to be? And that's probably the best piece of advice I can give folks. All right. Uh, according to a major national bank, this is crazy. Only 26% of Canadians have a financial plan. That is it. So why is it time now to create one right now if you don't have one? Is it too late? So it's never too late. Mm -hmm. And I'd say it's probably the single most important thing I can stress anybody to do is to have a plan. Uh, and look, some stats say 26%, others say over half. Either way, it's a pretty significant number of Canadians that don't have one. And we're in the midst of the worst inflationary period that we've seen since, frankly, I was a child. So this is my first time as an adult going through it. So if you're wondering and you're feeling a little bit of the pinch, having a plan to tell you where are you today versus where you want to be in the future will help go a long way with alleviating a lot of that stress we talked about. Good stuff. Before you go, any final tips for people around this time of year? Because I know there's a lot of people watching going, oh, he's right, he's right, he's right, he's right. What else do you got? So look, it's in periods of higher volatility like we're in right now, it's really important to go back to your governing document and making sure that you're on plan. And if you're not, it's a great time to seek out creating one and speaking with a financial professional. All right, great. And that's the thing. You have to actually do it. It's great to listen to these tips and you're like, oh, these are great tips. Now you need to act and actually get it done. For sure, Shiraz, where can we get more information? So if you want, you can always follow me on my YouTube channel, which is Sartorial Wealth of Raymond James, or on my website, sartorialwealth.com. Fantastic. Shiraz, great to see you. Likewise. Uh, where do you stand on working from home, out of curiosity? <laughs> That's a loaded question. I'm a big believer in it. Uh, you know, even just coming downtown here today is a pretty significant commute. So I'm a big fan of working from home where appropriate. But it's not appropriate in all scenarios. So I'm a big believer in it. Yes, but that commute is terrible. Is that here it's in the GTA? Oh, wow. It's, it can be something. It's not fun. <laughs> um, all right. It is National Work From Home Day, May 17th. Don't know if you knew that. Now you do.